twisted fates, entwined in explosive conflict. Can the Iron Kin survive the warp-fueled fires of change as the Thousand Suns march on the Votan outpost? This is 40K in 40 minutes! I am Tycho, the Child of Chaos, your host for this 1500-point match between the legendary voice of Playon, JT, and the resident Yeet aficionado, Mubin. I am back again with the Thousand Suns, going up against JT and the Votan for the first time in 10th edition. The march of the Mubrick Marines is led by Ariman on foot, along with a sorcerer on a disc and an infernal master. They lead three squads of Rubik Marines, toting infernal flamers and bolters. A Terminator Sorcerer leads Scarab Occult Terminators. Two squads of Zangors round out the infantry but aren't allowed in the Lone Rhino and are probably scared of the massive Vortex Beast, a warp terror that extends the range of the Zinchian magic attacks that are the signature of the Thousand Suns Army. Big key to victory for me here is going to be making sure that I take advantage of my special abilities, my Cabal Rituals, and those Rubric Marines to effectively position around those objectives and take those objectives when I need to. I am so excited to finally get to Diggy Diggy Hole in 10th edition. The Votan Stalwarts are led by Carl Franz, Iron Master Theo the Mechanic, Grimnir, Jason the Inconsistent, Einhir Champion, Eugene Bosshart, and the Land Fortress, Hammer of Luna, are all named by our amazing patrons. Gosh, you guys rock! Two squads of Hearthkin and one of Berserkers, Hearthguard and Thunderkin make up the Infantry Corps. A Sagittar transport for the Berserks and three units of Pioneer jet bikes make for a very nimble Votan army. So I'm not leaning heavily into what you would call the competitive meta. That being said, they're still really dead hard. The mission, Crucible of Battle Deployment at Sites of Power with Targets of Opportunity. Targets of opportunity mean our players will be drawing three secondary objectives instead of two. Hopefully I get decent draws and it doesn't turn in my favor, but maybe if I draw bad ones early, I'll just cycle through them faster. We'll see. The offset deployment opens up some shooting lanes and interesting spots to deep strike into. Our mission is sites of power, so characters in the middle of the board are going to score us extra primary points, which is important. Both, both of us have a ton of characters, so we're definitely setting up to do a bit of a slugfest mid-table should be a slobber knocker, a, a barn burner, junkyard scrap, a fearsome tilt is in the cards, no matter what you call it. Take your seats and hold on tight, here we go. Theo the Mechanic and the Thunderkin will be outflanking from reserve. For the Thousand Suns, the Terminators are in deep strike. Pioneered bikes deploy first, threatening an early dash to an objective. Zangars on the home objective, Berserks in the Sagittar. More Zangors go up the middle. The Hecaton takes a forward attack position, full of Hearthguard. Mutilith Vortex Beast, front and center. Bikes are everywhere. Mubrik Marines are the signature of Mubin's list. Hearthkin in a ruin. Araman and his bodyguard in the Rhino have options. Grimnir and some Hearthkin creeping up on the side. Rubric Marines into cover. The last drop are the last of the Pioneers. Up the gut. Both players are set for aggression. I kind of want JT to go first. Cross my fingers that I go first. Oh Ready? boy. Here we go. Hoosa! Oh no. Oh no. You, sir, get to go first. Okay, I am barely going first, but going first it is. Let's see what happens. It's the Yeet Porium, baby, and if he comes running at me, the master of the moving phase could make my day a really short one, and we'll go grab a beverage. <laughs> Art W, oh my stars, Art W makes me so happy. For pro-painted models of the finest quality, Art W is the company for you. Elevate your tabletop experience for you and your foes by bringing jaw-dropping works of art to your next match or grace your home with the finest in top shelf custom painted miniatures. It's all up to you. It's hard not to love these models on site and trust me, they really shine in person. The quality of work produced by the Art W paint team blows me away. Check out the link in the description below and make your hobby dreams come true with Art W. Buckle up buttercup, here we go. 
Yay. So I have scout moves. Do you have scout moves? I have no scout moves, sir. All right, I also would get to judge you four units to start Ooh. the game. Judgment lands on Ariman's unit and his rhino, the Vortex Beast and the Rubrics with the Infernal Master. Plus one to hit and wound as they are double judged. The Pioneer's scout moves are pretty conservative, mostly staying in the deployment zone. JT is playing his cards close to his chest. No prisoners, bring it down and attempting target. A little bit of everything for Mubin secondaries. Not the easiest to achieve, but very achievable secondaries. For my detachment ability, mm -hmm. always devastating wounds. Wrath of the Immaterium. Wrath of the I didn't even have to look at it. As soon as I pick up the cards, I know, because knowledge is power. Uh, <laughs> Zinch gives me the information. Zinch gives. This will provide devastating wounds to psychic attacks. This unit of Zangors, because they are holding an objective on a four up will give me an extra cabal point. They do. Nice. Fantastic. Seven cabal points to pump up the magics. On to moving. Or as we like to call it around here, the moving phase. The moving, moving phase. Uh, this unit of Zangors on the back is going to try and advance first. Looking to snag the tempting target objective, even the reroll leaves him short. Well, that did not go the way I was hoping it would. The Vortex Beast shambles onto the center objective. That Mutalith Vortex Beast scares the bejesus out of me. Rubrics belly up to the ruin, the sorcerer peeking around the corner. Psychic phase. Oh no, you don't have that anymore. But I have the shooting phase and I can do fun stuff in the you shooting can, you phase can. too. Vortex Beast only has the one target that he can see, which is the fortress. I can get bring it down points if I can take that fortress down. I'm using the Warp Vortex, because it's exactly what it's called, but I'm using the beam profile. Okay. So it's a single shot, three up, strength 18, AP4, D6 plus six with devastating wounds. This devastating magic scares JT enough to use Void Armor for his last command point. Okay. Make it minus one. Incoming to the AP. incoming AP. Plus I have covers, so that'll be minus two to your incoming AP. Okay. So even if it gets through, I'm saving this on a four. Hitting on threes. threes. Three? The double sixes! <laughs> Ouch! Okay. Now the question is, can I do it three times in a row for the full 12 damage? Right. No, oh, but I'll take five. Jesus so 11 Christ. damage to the Hammer of Luna. Oh my gosh. Just boom! That sucks. Down to five. That hurt. I'm gonna lose my Hecaton. And this is where the Rhino came in handy. Armand's shooting out of it. The Soul Reaper can be shooting out of it. Armand? Armand with his Psychic Stock, single shot. Devastating. Oh my god! How many sixes can one man roll in one shooting phase? That's four sixes now. I know. Good lord, man. Good I'm lord. Gonna be, I'm going to be greedy. I'm spending my You're gonna spend it? here. I'm going to do it. Still a two. Exactly the same. No, the two into a two. Really? You know what? It's brutally wounded. And thankfully, because it's bracketed, it offsets a lot of the bonuses that it's getting right now. Pioneers near the board edge fade away and go into reserves. Sneaky doors. Five points for the tempting target. What's the score? Five nil for the Thousand Suns. This is, uh, oh, this is, this is not going great so far. Investigate signals, deploy Homer, and attempting target. Doubled up on the same objective as before are the Votan secondaries. This is actually the best of both worlds for me. Um, it's the hardest one for me to get, sure, but if I get on there with everything, then he's gonna have a hard time kicking me off. The Hammer of Luna fails Battleshock. Whew, too much chaos magic. The Berserks jump out and move out, looking to bonk a rhino. The Hearthkin move into the corner to investigate a signal. The Hearthguard pile out of the land fort, looking for a charge into the Rhino as well. Pioneers zip forward to the middle. Cool. Vortex Beast is going to spend a command point and sure. for watch. Absolutely, sir. The Vortex Beast overwatches with a warp vortex and strips three wounds off a bike. Not quite a kill. The Hammer of Luna trundles forward just a tad. All righty then. Okay, so in the shooting phase, yep. I'm going to spend two of my Cabal points. Okay. To use Weaver of Fate, which allows him to reroll a failed save. The target for the Call Squad absolutely is the Mutalit Vortex Beast. Yep. Blasting at the Vortex Beast. Lethal hits drop the monstrosity down to 10 wounds. So the wounded Hecaton. Yep. The wounded battle shocked poor Hecaton. Wounded Hecaton. The Magna Rail has got to go into the dude in front of me. Like, that's just a game. It 
I don't blame you one bit. Bolt cannons and the auto cannon into the Rhino. Okay. They were double judged. They've got giant targets painted on their back. I wouldn't expect anything less from JT. Six shots for the twin bolt cannons. So these are fours. Four up. Nope. Takes two damage. Magna rail cannon on yep. a four. Don't do it, JT. Hits. <laughs> it's okay. No six. Strength 18. No six. Strength 18. Here we no go. Six. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, yes. but it wounds. All right. Strength 18 wounds you, yes? That's okay, yes. AP uh, four. Five up in ball. No, the beastie's gonna take it. I have the Weaver of Fate. I'm gonna go ahead and use re-roll. Re -roll. Nope, still fails it. 12! It's still the 12! <laughs> Boom! Huge damage from the main gun, but feel no pain. Keeps it alive at one wound remaining. One wound. One wound remaining. He lives. He has to shoot other stuff into it. We, we have both just <laughs> devastated the bejesus out of each other. That's ridiculous. It's down to the bikes. Down to the bikes to kill the silly mutilated vortex beast. Threes because you're double judged. Fours because double judged. Fives. Nope, didn't make a single one. Two each. Two each. I'm just gonna roll four of these and see if I make any. Nope, I don't. Oh, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. <laughs> You've been doing good. I need, mean, you know what you have to do. I saw the six. Judgment is so strong. Three command points will be gained as well in JT's next command phase. And I'm gonna do the combo now because I have the command points to do it. He uses Ancestral Sentence for one command point. All right, so Hearthguard. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dump everything into the Rhino and just make sure it dies. Plasma drops it to four and the grenades blast it apart. No explosion, but three mortals to the unit inside kill a rubric. And because they came out of an exploding thing, they are battle shocked at the moment. They are. I have the Sagittar left, so the L7 missile launcher in its blast is going to target your Zangors. Yep. The Mater autocannon, the Sagittar missile launcher, and the twin bolt cannon are going to target your rubrics. Okay. L7 blast. Ten guys, right? Ten guys. D6 plus two, fours. That was easy. The Sagittar fires and drop three Mubrick Marines. Okay, so I've got how far my charges? Nine and nine? Nine. Okay. Let's start with the Sagittar first. He needs probably a 12, right? 11. 11? 11. All right, so let's go deep, baby. Sagittar. Into the rubrics, I'm assuming. Yes. An eight. Nope. So close. Okay, uh, let's try the Berserks. Okay. They need a nine. They get an eight. eight. Okay. This has this a built-in reroll. This is the one I need you to fail. Hearth guard. Six. New don't dice, do new don't dice. Do Here we go. Don't Here do we go. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Free reroll from the champ. Boom. Don't do it. Eleven, baby. Ah! Araman's rubrics are now engaged in melee combat. And then I'm going to spend another two cabal points. Yeah. Starting your fight phase. Araman uses Weaver of Fate to strip the armor from his foe. By taking away my armor save, any guys who are left, which could be Aramon himself, will start carving up my hearth guard, and that could be rough for me. So it's twos and twos at AP2 for two. Hey! <laughs> so any of these that survive are gonna bonk gonna back for free. Shoo me up good. Oh, that's just the spot. Oh my dude! Oh dude, no! No saves at all! No! Woo. And Eugene Bosshart says to Aramon, Foul sorcerer, taste my hammer! No, I don't want your hammer. Into Aramon on twos. On twos. And D6 plus one each. Here we go, D6 plus one. How many wounds you got? He's got five. I need a four? Give me a two. Oh. No! Smash! The arch sorcerer, crushed. Not looking great for movement here. That was brutal. Big losses for the Thousand Sons. Nearly a third of his army is gone, but the Votan are overextended. Let's see if Mubin can do some vital damage in round two. At this point, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. However, when those Terminators come in, I'm in trouble because they do serious work. Investigate signals and attempting target are scored, making the score nine to five at the bottom of one for JT's Votan. It's turn two. And this is where I usually have the most fun when I'm playing Thousand Sons, because this means my Terminators get to come and play. Secondary draw is extend battle lines to go with Bring It Down and No Prisoners. We're going for the points here. Going for the points. Wrath of the Immaterium continues for more devastating wounds. Three precious primary points for Mubin. Make the score eight to nine for the Votan. One command point each. 
I have to shoot them. You are going to wipe that squad out. Not with them. They're no, just running around. but like, I want them dead. They're silly goats just running around. I'm going to kill the man bear goats. Not the man bear goats. I'm going to spend my command point to overwatch your man bear goats. <laughs> Not my man bear goats. <laughs> Strength eight. Put six up in balls. Not a six up in ball. So that's a dead guy. Still sixes. I make neither. The iron here champ. Six. Not a six. So I killed how many? Too many. Tentative, the infernal master switches sides of the ruin he was cowering behind. The rubrics hanging out in the corner move out. Better late than never. Here come the Terminators. These killers can turn the tide all alone. They have so many targets. So many targets. Uh, at the end of the movement phase, mm -hmm. the exalted sorcerer on disc is going to point angrily at the bikers yep. and go, no. The exalted sorcerer uses binding tendrils to slow down the bikes in the middle, keep them from causing too much havoc. And then at the start of the shooting phase, I'm going to burn all six of my cabal points, and I can target them with a stratagem for zero CP, has to be battle tactic, um, for zero CP, even if they've already used it. Gotcha. Sorcerer and Terminator armor is going to use Marked by Fate. Okay. And he is going to target the Hammer of Luna. Okay. So any shooting into the Hammer of Luna, I get reroll hits of one. Time to shoot. And I'm going to start with the Infernal Master and friends. They're all shooting into the Hearthguard. Oh, they're shooting into the Hearthguard? Yeah. Uh, and the Infernal Master will also jump into the Hearthguard. Yeah. Boulders are still winning you on fives. Yes. Uh, Bring it! you first. You do, sir. Objective now. Cover. So three up, we're good. Soul Reaper cannon. Six shots. Soul Reaper go. Two so far. So we're going to kill the guy closest to you. And the Infernal Master. Screamer invocation. Focus witch fire. 2d6 for shots. Auto hits, winning on fours. Two three ups. The Infernal Master's Screamer Invocation lashes out and kills the squad and even wounds Boss Heart. Wow, what a blast. They they did the killing? They did the killing, they're already judged. You already double judged. You can't be judged any can't further. Can't be judged more than that. And the Ein here are dead. My hearth guard are evaporated. Holy devastating wounds, Batman. That hurt. What is he playing? Eldar for crying out loud? Ha, ah, see what I did there? I kid, I kid. But still, it's not a good feel. That was rough. The Exalted Sorcerer on disc, which I'm gonna eventually name because he needs a name. He's gonna shoot into the bikers because even though I've slowed them down, they shoot a lot and they're not fun. That's true. Well, not fun for me. They have a lot of guns. And they are a psychic weapon. Exalted Sorcerer blasts arcane fire at the backward spikes and roasts too. Should have looked where they were going. All right, now for the Terminators that you have been fearing so much to show up and do their thing. Echoes from the warp stoke the warp fire, wreathing their guns with ensorcelled infusion and grants full rerolls. Hits and wounds. Ooh. And then Take that oath of the moment. And the one CP is going to be for ensorcelled infusions. Nice which turns all their bolt weapons into psychic weapons at strength five. So, Who are you Terminators go brr. Who are you shooting? I know JT doesn't like his split firing. I know deep down he knows that there's a time and a place, and this is the time and the place. Split fire, Soul Reaper into the last bike, Hellfire missile into the Hecaton land fort. The bolters go after the wounded Einhar champion. This is so gross. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, we're going to take the Soul Reaper Cannon first into that lone bike. Yeah. Fours? Yes. Four ups. I make He's them all. Okay. Oh, all right. Anyway, biker. I'm okay with that. Two shots from the Hellfire Missile Rack. Yeah. Three up. No. Ha ha. Three damage flat. Take it. And you have no command points. He doesn't explode. Oh, I wish he did. But the Hammer of Luna is dead. Boom. Bring it down. Ready? Now for all the little wizards to take out Eugene Bossheart. Yeah. Devastating bolter fire drops Bossheart as well. Very nice shooting, split fire at its finest. The Terminators gain two judgment tokens for their pains. So this is where the second half of my plan came into play. The Zangors are gonna charge the Berserks. Please do, thanks. Zangors go zoom. Zangors are charging the Berserkers? Huh, this is an interesting move. Not sure what they're up to. The Berserks are tough customers. I'm gonna need a nine regardless. Yep. Terminators! Terminate the bike. Coming for the bike. No, no yeeting allowed. No there. joy. Zangors, high limit to the punchies. All right. Uh, two, if you want. Two. I'm gonna take them on the mole launcher. Okay. Uh, I don't get a save. It's just five up feel my pains. Uh, I feel take one wound. Pain. The mole launcher is down to two wounds remaining. 
All right, so the Zerks with their concussion mauls. 16 attacks. Oh boy, this might have been a mistake. You got greedy. However, I hit you on force. It was the easy extend battle line. Because you're not judged. Yeah. I hit you on force. Here we go. This I make one. Ooh, only one Sango remains. He gets swamped on the objective after the consolidate. The bikes in the corner drop into reserve and will return. Big damage from Mubin has blunted the Votan rush. 11 points between bring it down and no prisoners put the score 19 to nine for the Thousand Sons. No prisoners, deploy homers, and secure no man's land are the secondaries for the Votan. Scorable secondaries and JT does have four command points as he has got his bonus for killing a marked target. I think I'm just gonna hold this objective and it keep my pressure, keep this side of the board to myself and leave moving in the middle where his Terminators are. They're gonna be a problem for me to deal with. Advancing to the far objective, the slow biker tempts Overwatch, but is left alone. The Hearthkin in the corner go pretty slow. The Sagittar gets a shooting solution on the troops in the middle. Thunderkin stomp into action, looking for a shot on the occult Terminators. And I got two squads of bikes. Do the bikes want to come in now or do you want to wait? No, I'm leaving them off. If it was turn three and you can come in from any board edge, I'd say it's a different story, but right? turn two? Uh, Too much. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start my shooting phase. Okay. I'm gonna start with the Broker Thunderkin. Conversion beamers zap the Scarab Occult Terminators. At range, these guns are deadly. I just need a lot of ones. Winning on threes, because I'm... Plus one, minus one. Plus one, minus one. Yeah. Come on, boys. Oh, yes. that sucked so bad. <laughs> wow, three! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude. You're still two up saves though. That's still two saves. I get one! Should I give you the one though? Because it kills one outright. It does. Correct? It absolutely will. Destined by fate, I change the damage of that attack to zero. Sagittar, bolt cannon and Mater auto cannon into the rubric squad, and then Sagittar missile launcher and L7 focused into the Terminator squad. Cool. So L7 missile launcher is one shot on a three. So four up. They're okay. Uh, the Sagittar Missile Launcher on threes. Four up is good. Fails to hurt the Terminators, but plugs three Rubric Marines. The single bike into your squad of Rubrics with the Sorcerer on desk. Shotgun from the bike tickles a Mubric. Squad will take a wound. One of the guys at the top. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend a command point on my Hearthkin squad. Ooh. I'm gonna use Ancestral Sentence. Hearthkin in the middle. Don't manage to do much to the Terminators, even with Ancestral Sentence. One damage. I think that's it. Okay, then. All right, sir. Uh, Zangor go bonk. Zangor gonna bonk. Zangors fail to hurt a Berserk, as he is torn from this mortal coil by the business end of a concussion hammer. A Spilet. I don't think it's gonna be enough. He's just gonna dominate that middle board, and I'm gonna have to try to nibble around the edges before I jump into the juicy center. Brutal losses on both sides, and the score is 19 to 22. It's anyone's game into turn three. I believe in Mubin for chaos. <laughs> Extend battle lines was retained, and area denial and capture enemy outpost are the draw. Oh, look at that. He pulled capture enemy outpost. That's gonna be a quick eight for him. Uh, this, this is gonna hurt. This is perfect. Now to see how much damage I can do while scoring these objectives. Nine Cabal points is great, and three primary points is okay. 22 to 22, it's a tie game, folks. I will continue to stay with Wrath of the Immaterium. The Umbralific Crystal activates, and the Terminators are sucked into the warp. They can come in from reserve this round. Big move. And because they're back here, I have no way to overwatch, no way to anything them. And that's exactly why I'm taking it. And the Infernal Master are gonna creep around the corner here and steal that center objective. Yeah, I'm just debating on if I wanna over, cause I can't, they come back, I can't overwatch. So I think I'm actually gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna spend my command point. One command point, down to three. Missiles first. Roll it up. That's uh, still a four, we're good. And these are lethal Perfect. hits. Heavy weapon down. Other rubrics move up to charge the biker. The Zangor spread out a bit to keep the bikes from his back view. And of course, last but not least, the return of the Scarabs. Terminators drop onto the Votan home objective. This changes everything. The dwarves have to turn around now. The fox is in the hen house. That is the end of my movement Spending phase. Spending a command point on rapid ingress. 
I've only got two units to shoot. I'm gonna start with the Infernal Master and his little sorcerer buddy. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna spend a point on Void Armor. Threes. Six up. Good. Screamer Invocation, Focused Witch Fire, 2d6. So three fives. No. No. Seven of the Brave Hearthkin die in the fires of the war. Rubric with the Exalted Sorcerer. Exalted Sorcerer is out of range of shooting. He's just gonna go ahead and pop the bike. Sure. Start with the boulders. Save it. Six sorry for 10 shots. They'll do one at a time because you get one wound. Save. 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 Flamer the here. Exalted Sorcerer into the bike. Yep. Three saves at AP2. No. <laughs> Dude. This is a good turn. Good turn. Scored all my secondaries. Let's see what JT hits me with. Extend battle lines and area denial along with capture enemy outpost. That's a big pile of secondary scoring. Deploy teleport homers behind enemy lines and capture enemy outpost, all quite doable secondaries. I'm gonna score an 18 point turn just like Moven did. Three primary points, but Moven is still way ahead. I need to spend a point on insane bravery so that if I fail my charge, I can spend a command point to reroll it. Advancing with them? Yeah, I'm gonna advance that squad of Hearthkin. So the Hearthkin with the Grimnir advancing. 11 inches. Woo! So they're literally just gonna zoom. The Exalted Sorcerer on desk because he's, I don't see why he wouldn't do it otherwise because they're angry and scary and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thunder Power Squad, gonna overwatch into the broke here. Yep, yep. Thunderkin? Thunderkin. The wizard first. Wizard! The Cogs and one Thunderkin go down to Witchfire. Great shot. All right, so Thunderkin, you sucked. You didn't do well. That's okay. I still love you and I still think you're cool. However, I would really appreciate it that if you live another turn, that you kill some stuff. That'd be really nice. Okay, thanks. Bye. I need to get onto that center objective, get away from these Terminators, and get into position to start doing some work. These Terminators aren't fast, and they're tucked in the corner. More bikes arrive and occupy the enemy deployment zone. I think it's time for some shooting. Yeah, I'm gonna go for two for a free save for now. Those guys don't have shots. I will they try both. to monkey you up with the... Mole launcher? Force, strength five. I don't want. Okay. On a four up, you're shaking. No. You're not shaking. Ha ha. Two shots into here. Uh, make one and fail one. There you go. Oh yeah, the wounded guy. The wounded guy dies. The bikes next target the Zangor, spin up the auto cannons, and blast six down. Four left holding the home base. Right. So the one bike that can shoot into those guys will do so. Sixes! No sixes. Squad is done. Alright. Hearth kid, shoot at the rubrics in the middle. The bodyguard is vaporized, and the Infernal Master faces the dwarves alone, with two wounds remaining after Weaver of Fate. Time to charge. Charge away. Here we go. So it is an eight-inch charge. There. Yep, I there have a command point. Oh, by the ancestors. No. Six. Me. Spending my command point to reroll uh, that of charge. Of course you are. And I'm believing in these dice. No. Eight. Yay. But the other guys are going to try to charge. I think they were seven or eight as well. Right? Uh, yeah, they should have been eight. Go for the Infernal Master. With nope. a four. This is not good. I've missed all my charges. I have managed to make a single charge, and that is starting to sting. That's big time trouble. T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Huge round for both sides. Score, score, score. Massive secondary scoring. 18 for each player leaves us at bottom of three, 40 to 43. It's as tight as it gets, and both sides are running very low on models, command points, and even their very sanity. Storm hostile objective, investigate signals, and overwhelming force are fairly hard to score. Oh boy, this is a rough draw for secondaries, but I'm only three points away from maxing my secondary score anyways. Going into your turn, my Hearthkin actually killed a unit that had Judgment Tokens on. Now, even though it carries over, because yep. the character is part of it, that means I can put a Judgment Token into something I can see. Hey, okay, now. So these guys get go to two. A very solid 15 points on primary. Thrust, moving back into the lead. 55 to 43. Okay, I'll come around. Okay. I have an idea. Before you move, yep. I Overwatch. will spend my command points to Overwatch you. I expect nothing less from you, sir. So I'm out of command points, and I'm and Overwatching you with my Thunderkin. Yep. They Overwatch you on fives. 
That's okay. It's only two shots, but it could be big. Hey, there's a five. There's a big one. That's a big one. So five gives me the hit and, and sustain D3. D3. Just two. two. Three shots, that's not bad. What are you on threes? Uh, is that including judge? Uh, strikes, no, judge, so winning on twos. Yeah. Two AP ones, three damage each. Boy, four ups. I hit them both. These guys have four ups? Uh, oh, three up armor. Three up armor, and the sorcerer does give them a four up. I'm just gonna play the map, cause as much devastation as I can, try to just dig my heels in, keep these characters on the objective, and just do the damage, deal the hurt. Shooting. 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 You have two units to shoot. I have two wizards to shoot with. The Exalted Sorcerer on desk is going to shoot into the Broke Here Thunder Gym. Okay. All the rubrics that are tagging along with them, including the little wizard, are going to shoot into the Hearthkin Warriors in the middle. Okay. So we'll start with the big wizard first. Sure. T6. Make one, fail one. D3. For three. Kill a broker. And then the bolters from the rubrics into the no. Hearthkin. Yeah. One at AP1, one at AP2. So the AP2 will be a five up invuln? Nope. And the AP1 will yep. be a five up? Nope. Two, six up, feel no paints. Nope. Okay, so medic and call left. And then the two shots from the baby smite. Baby smite. And one devastating wound. I need to do some killing here because the less characters you have, the less primary you can score. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. I'm going to spend two, both my command, uh, command points. Yes, sir. Infernal Master puts Warp Sight on the Thunderkin for two command points. No command points left for movement. Which basically means any psychic attacks coming at him can be blind fired and they ignore cover. And then I'm going to fire the Infernal Master into the End call. Of the call. Come on, call Franz. You got this, bro. So 2d3, three. threes, uh, just the one, I will spend my Glimpse of Eternity for a Devastating Wound. Okay, so one Devastating Wound. Yep, and then you have one save at AP2. AP2. Nope. Zip, zap, zowie, no more Warlord. The only two psychic weapons I have with the Terminators mm -hmm. are gonna be the Big Sorcerer and the Little Sorcerer and their psychic powers. Okay. Uh, nope, and they don't have rerolls. Of course, getting flames from the Big Wizard. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that just happened. That just happened. The bikes near the edge move back into reserves. Ooh, Trixie. Gotta weather this storm from JT. If those characters survive, I've got a fighting chance and just doing more damage and continuing to score these points. I need to kick him off objectives and I need to stop him from scoring. Bring it down, defend stronghold and overwhelming force. Tough draw, overwhelming force is possible. Nine primary points put the score 55 to 52 for Mubin. Two command points to one. So Mubin has got my my home objective, and I need to get the heck away from those Terminators if I have any chance of catching up in this game. Okay, you know what? Those bikes coming in. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and overwatch them. Okay. Foosh, foosh. One save at AP2. Good. You're okay. And then the two devastating. So Just first one. Two first one does. One. Okay. Second one does. One. All right. So the back guy's on one wound. Not a great roll. All right. All right. So on to my shooting phase. The Infernal Master is gonna spend two Cabal points for Weaver of Fate. So him or anyone within 18 can use a free reroll if they fail. Okay. A save. And then I'm also going to spend six from the Exalted Sorcerer for a free stratagem in your shooting guys. Okay. I'm going to start with, start shooting the Mole Launcher into your Terminators. Uh, D6 plus one. Twos. There, okay. However, on a four up, you are slow. No. Boom shakalaka. No. <laughs> so, you, sir, minus two to move, minus two to advance, minus two to charge. You are never coming out of there. Thunderkin, into here. Yep. Nope, it misses. So I'm gonna go with um, Ancestral Sentence for my last command point. Ooh. That's gonna give me sustained hits two on all my weapons. Gotcha. So fours, which is the other three. Everyone but the wizard. Threes. Still doing it one at a time because there's yep. a character there, so three up. 
Okay, three up. Okay. Nope. Takes a wound. That's one so far. So he has one wound left. Again, <laughs> sustain two. two. Yep, so fours. Okay. Ah. In the box. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dude. Ah, there he goes. So that is That's a dead guy. That's the rubric. Guy. That's a rubric. That is one kill off an objective for that is. overwhelming force. Other bike, same thing. Into the wizard. But I cannot ancestral sentence them. No. Nope. Freeze. Okay. I'm going to use the F Weaver of Fate from the Infernal Master to reroll one of those. Okay. And are you doing anything else? Nope, just that. So he's taking four damage. So he's taking four damage. He's down to two remaining. Okay, High Laz Rotary Cannon. Okay. Twos. So you still have a command point to use a strategy I to still have a command point, and I used Echoes from the Warp point. Well, how many did you fail? I failed three. Yeah, but they're one damage each. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one command point. Yeah. Command reroll one of the fails. Okay. And then I'm going to spend the Echoes from the Warp, so that'll allow me to use a second reroll, because I can only do it on battle tactics. So you're using the same stratagem twice? Twice on the same unit, because... Because you're allowed to use the same stratagem twice in a phase. Correct. Giddy up. All hey, right. I hope he lives. I do too. But it's four ups. It's 50-50. It is. No rabbit in the hat. The magic man is down. So that's it for my shooting phase. Okay. I have not made charges this game though. I've got one charge all game. And even though it's a four inch charge, I'm sweating. I don't know if I'm gonna make it because this is clutch. If I don't get this, this is game. I need a four. Would you kindly fail this for me? No, I have not made Would charges you? all game. I need you to fail this, JT. Six, oh thank god. No! Dude, that was, that is so yeah. nutty. Yeah. That'll do it. All right, sir. All right. Bonk away. Yeah, this is gonna be gross. Yeah. On threes. No! So these are on your five ups, here we go. These are on my five ups. No, oh he's so horribly dead. But I saw those fives. <laughs> Does he explode? <laughs> the look on your face. I'm like, he's a psyker. I mean, he could. No. He, he doesn't explode, but he does die. A horrible, horrible oh, death. Oh, my dude. <laughs> and that is going to, unfortunately for Mubin, win me the game. This was a hard-fought game. It was super close. Putting the final score with Pete, 71 to 83 for your victor, JT, the voice of play on and dwarf general extraordinaire. What a big body, back and forth, barn burner of a game. What a performance. Mubin kept the score super tight to the very end and JT's bike play zipping all over to put firepower exactly where it is needed, cinched a very tight, hard fought banger of a game. Thank you Art W for the fantastic paint. Thank you players for the fantastic game and thank you our loyal audience for just being all round fantastic. Like and subscribe and help us out. And if you want to go the extra mile, become a member or check out our Patreon for early access, a ton of exclusive content, and access to the best Discord server out there. Really, just good people having good fun together. And of course, until we see you next time, play on! I want to rematch. I want to play this on a live stream. You and me again, buddy. Fantastic opponent, as always. It's always a blast playing against you. Let's do it, because I think if I go first, you would win this game. We need a rematch, whether it's a live stream, another 40K in 40 minutes, whatever, we need this fight again.